Hello and welcome to Clinical Exam Series with Dr. Piro. Today we are going to discuss how to examine an anterior neck mass. I should also say that this is quite a common station in the exams that you need to be aware of. There will be two parts of this video. The first part will tell you what to look for when you are doing an anterior neck mass examination and the second aspect is going to demonstrate how to carry out this examination within the 3 minutes time frame. The OSCEs will typically last between 3 to 5 minutes. It is better to use 3 minutes to be on the safe side. As in all examination, always start by greeting the patient, obtaining an informed consent from the patient, establishing some form of rapport with the patient by assuring the patient that you will not cause any pain during the examination. Also, screen the patients and use all the PPEs that are available such as masks and gloves. It is better for the patient to be seated during an anterior neck mask examination. There are about seven core aspects of the examination you need to be aware of when you are carrying out this examination. The first is to inspect the patient. Here we need to inspect the patient for the presence of an anterior neck mass, neck scars, lead lag, lead retraction, proptosis, tremors, sweating, restlessness, asthenia, or the staring gaze. The next aspect of the examination is to ask the patient to swallow. The reason why is because thyroglossal cysts move with patients swallowing. However, goiters, laryngocils, pretracheal lymph nodes do not move when the patient swallows. Next, we ask the patient to protrude their tongue. Thyroglossal cysts moves with tongue protrusion. The next aspect of the examination is to palpate the anterior neck mass. There are two approaches to palpating an anterior neck mass. There's the anterior approach where you stand in front of the patient and there's the posterior approach. Some clinicians, however, would prefer you to stand behind the patient. That is the posterior approach. While palpating the mass, we want to check for the size of the mass, the consistency of the mass, the presence of nodules on the mass. It's also important to check for mobility of the mass, tethering to the underlying neck structures, differential warmth in the mass, the overlying skin, and trachea centrality. During palpation, if you cannot get below the mass, then it is important to do a percussion to check if the mass has a retrosternal extension. The next aspect of the examination is to auscultate the mass for the presence of bruise. The next step is to examine the hands of the patient. Here we are going to be checking for tremors, palmar erythema, and we are also going to assess the pulse of the patient. We are going to assess the rate, the rhythm, and if the patient has a bounding pulse. The next aspect of the examination is to examine the lower extremity of the patient. Here we are going to be checking for pretibia myxedema. This is the presence of rough, coarse substances on the tibia of the patient. We rub the palm of our hands against the shin of the patient to check for pretibia myxedema. Next, we examine the knee jerk reflex and the ankle jerk reflexes. To round up this examination, we are going to assess the patient for proximal myopathies. This is to assess for muscle atrophy in the patient. We do this by asking the patient to stand from a sitting position. Proximal myopathies make standing from sitting and squatting position difficult for the patient. 